Wow, looking good out there on the red carpet, everyone. Good afternoon, Wafe colleagues, and thank you for joining us for the kickoff to our 2023-24 United Way campaign. Lights, camera, take action. I hope you all are having as much fun with this year's campaign theme as we are, and that many of you joined us in dressing up today. Don't forget to send your photos into the marketing team so we can all see you. My name is Tina DeCamp, and I am the Retail Banking Division Manager for Northern Oregon. I truly feel honored to have been asked to co-chair this important WAFED tradition with Pete Thompson. I'd like to take a moment to thank Pete, along with Elle and Leighton, who we're so grateful to for their tremendous behind the scenes work. Also, Steve, Sean, Krista, Christy, Clarissa, and Brad for their work on this fun kickoff event. Another group that's been working very diligently to ensure a successful campaign are your United Way champions. They either volunteered or maybe some were voluntold and happily accepted the challenge. You all have been a joy to work with and we really thank you for your enthusiasm and your contributions. Today we'll be hearing from a few WAFED and United Way speakers on topics such as the mission and background of United Way and how they're equipped to tackle our community's many, many challenges, as well as the ever important matter of food security. You will also hear from my co-chair Pete about our goals and incentives that you have the ability to earn towards the end of the show. So be sure to stay tuned. I recently came across a quote that I just felt was very fitting for this campaign and our bank. It reads, giving is not just about making a donation, it's about making a difference. And isn't that what we do here at WAFED? To quote our CEO, Brent Beardall, hashtag, love what you do, make a difference. Thank you all for making a difference together during this 2023-24 United Way campaign. Now on to our speakers. Please welcome our MC, Brad Good. Thank you very much, Tina. Welcome, WAFED colleagues. Brad Good, your marketing director here. Welcome to Lights, Camera, Take Action. Finally, the bank is doing something in an arena that makes me feel comfortable. Bring on the television and the media, right? Okay. <laughs> hey, as you guys know, um, this is the big event we do annually every year. Thank you for those watching. Thank you. You're already thinking about working with your teams and your champions to participate in this great endeavor that we take on every year. We have our Oscar statuette here, which everybody in the room that you're going to meet certainly deserves one, and you all deserve one as well for your ongoing commitment with WAFED Bank to support United Way and the many different nonprofits throughout our eight state footprint that do so much good work in our communities. We're always excited, we're refreshed, we're fired up about a great, great campaign. So you're gonna hear from three United Way leaders that are gonna really explain the need, why it's so important into how we help out annually. And of course, you're going to hear from our CEO, Brent Beardall, as to why we commit to this every year and a little bit about why we match this every year. I think most of you are aware of that. We step up every year. We want to hit over 80 percent, as you'll hear from our co-chairs. But it's just a really important, right? We go into this season of giving. We're so blessed. We love what we do and we want to make a difference. This is our opportunity to do just that. So I say we get started here. I would like to start by introducing Steve Hooper, the Vice Chair of United Way of King County. Steve is currently the Vice Chair of United Way, as well as President of the Seattle Restaurant Alliance and a board member for the Seattle Metro Chamber of Commerce. And somehow he's retired. They keep him busy on all these boards, I know that. But he does have time to play golf and spend time with family, which is important. Steve's going to go over the United Way's mission and background, share a brief why, right, why we, we do this for him and for the organization. And if I know him, he'll probably crack a few jokes uh, about our CEO, Brent Beardall. Something tells me they know each other. Okay, so with that, please welcome Steve Hooper, the Vice Chair of United Way of King County. Take it away, sir. Thank you very much, Brad. Uh, appreciate it. And it's lovely to be here with you all today, virtually, and uh, for the handful of folks I'm here in, in the room with personally. Um, your commitment to community is something that should be admired and is admired by so many of your peers throughout the industry. You guys step up year in and year out in a way 
that actually uh, brings a lot of us that uh, work in uh, the philanthropic world uh, a lot of heart and a lot of hope for, for what the future can look like. Um, so my first thing is to say thank you to all of you for being here, for leaning in, for being the business leaders you are in your communities and giving back what you can. I'd also like to thank Brett, uh, Brent for uh, telling me this was a country western themed uh, uh, event instead of the Oscars, so he could be the best dressed executive in the room. So that was very kind of him. I appreciate his hard work on that front as well. Um, look, the United Way uh, of King County in particular, we work side by side with communities to build an equitable future for everyone, where people have homes, where students graduate, or where families are fin uh, financially stable. And we do that work in a variety of different ways. Uh, one of the ways here, here in King County that we do it is a program called Bridge to Finish, which is near, near and dear to my heart. It's a program set up through community colleges that was started by the United Way, and it grew into many uh, 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 community colleges throughout the Pacific Northwest to the point where it's now being funded by state government. So the United Way has designed and built a program that's actually changing the lives of community college students. And you're all financial people. You all work in a bank. When a, financial, when a student finishes a, a certificate or completes their degree, they have the opportunity to earn 20% more every year in an increasing, you get compound interest and what that does to a family and lives. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for supporting the United Way uh, in your area. Thank you for supporting the United Way of King County in particular, uh, as, as that's where I sit. Uh, and with that, I'll hand it back to our fearless leader, Brad. <laughs> Steve, thank you very much. And I don't care what Brent says. I think you're rocking the flannel. Nice, nice work on that. And we appreciate your leadership so very much. Um, we've got a great video that we want to share with everybody. And uh, he's quite famous to those of us, at least in the Washington area. But since his playing days with the Seattle Seahawks, Doug Baldwin Jr., that great wide receiver and Super Bowl champion, has really dedicated himself to the community around here and much of that as well through United Way. So let's hear from him now. There's something that connects all of us. It, it unites, unites us, makes it so the, the world, world we seek, where no one is without. And the only hunger left is for dreams, dreams sueños, and pathways to opportunity. Together, together, together working side by side, sama, 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 da, 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 we move, move forward toward an equitable future. future. It's the thing that connects, connects us. It's love. 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 It's all love. Always has been and always will be. I don't know about you guys, but I sure miss seeing him going long for a bomb at Lumen Field. But, you know, he's scoring touchdowns every day in this community, as you just heard. Uh, wow. I mean, the guy is just soulful about it. And uh, I think it reminds us all that we can dig deep and be soulful and really give it this time, really, really feel with the heart. I think that's what's so important. And I think someone who really echoes that sentiment and has the whole entire time he's been the leader of this bank is our president and CEO, Brent Beardall. I'd like to bring him up now so he can talk a little bit more about why we do this and why we match what all of us raise to do all this good in the community. So Brent, if you'd come up, please. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Good. And I have to say, I apologize to everyone. My Finally, I get my moment on stage and I didn't go to makeup. So Brad, I apologize. I, I ran out of time. And Steve, I have to say you win the best dressed award at the country fair. So congratulations. Very, very nicely done. It is hard to believe that a year has gone by from when we were here last year doing the same ask. And it brings me so much pride to be part of WAFED and to be part of the partnership that we have with United Way. It is truly amazing. I was thinking about what can I say about United Way? And rather than put in my own words, I, I perused the website and I love this slogan that you have on the website, which says, we love it when everyone thrives, right? That speaks to who United Way is. I don't know about you, but that speaks to who I am. I love it when everyone thrives. We, we have our slogan here at Wafed Bank, love what you do, make a difference. This is one small way that all of us can make a difference. Whether it be just a few dollars or more than a few dollars, we ask everybody to reach in and give a little bit. And I also want to acknowledge that these are incredibly tough times. Inflation is high. It is tough. Uh, the mortgage market isn't what it used to be. There's all kinds of talk about recession and so forth. So that is real. And I, I, I fully acknowledge that. But I also want to acknowledge how blessed we are and how fortunate we are to work for such a solid company. And 
it is really fun to see what we do that's so different than everyone else. Almost everyone else you talk about, the workplace giving campaigns are going down, but not at WAFED. And what I love about United Way is it's not like we are focusing all of our employees from our nine states now, and all of that money goes to King County. All of the money goes to where you live in your communities because we want to make a difference in our communities either through the United Way or to the not-for-profits where you want to give. And what an amazing return. We all understand returns. We understand compound interest, but there is no better investment we can make than contributing to United Way where WAFED will match dollar for dollar, a 100% return on your investment. And you get to direct that investment that empowers you. I have asked all of you to make a difference. This is one small way we can make a difference. I am honored to be part of this campaign. I'm honored to work here at WAFED Bank. And I just wanna say thank you very much for everything that you do in living up to our values and in supporting our communities. Because we, like the United Way, truly do believe we love it when everyone thrives and there's room to allow all of us to thrive. With that, Brad, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you, Brent, and thank you for continuing to push the commitment from the bank to, to match all the great work and all the donations that everybody makes out there uh, across our eight great states and as we continue to give. It really is important, right? I mean, this money is going into your community. You're making a difference where you live. There are so many things we can't control that go on in our communities, whether it's you know in the nation's capital or in your state capital. What you can do is really have an impact on what happens in your community by your giving. And impact is a key word because as we continue here, I wanna introduce you next to Regina uh, Malvo. She is the Chief Impact Officer of United Way of King County. Think about that as somebody's title, Chief Impact Officer. It sounds like you gotta deliver every day. <laughs> That's pretty remarkable, and she does. So Regina brings more than 20 years of experience in the nonprofit community, began her career in the nonprofit social service and advocacy as a legal advocate for YWCA in her home in San Diego. Regina was appointed by Governor Inslee as a commissioner of the then newly formed Washington State Women's Commission before she went on to serve then as the executive director of the agency. She has recently joined the United Way now as that new chief impact officer. Very exciting that she's got that title. Regina is going to speak a little bit as a senior leader uh, with the United Way and uh, kind of highlight how United Way is uniquely equipped to handle the, all these community issues because we know there are many. Regina, welcome. Thank you so much. What an exciting place to be. I just feel so um, grateful to be here on behalf of United Way. First and foremost, just to really say thank you to the amazing WAFED team and the $750,000 that you all generated, including um, the uh, employer match um, for communities across uh, your, your nine states. Uh, so grateful. At United Way, we are really working side by side with communities. Uh, to create an equitable future for everyone. Uh, I really love that it jumped out to you that um, uh, we love when everyone thrives. And that's really what we are here doing at United Way King County and at the United Ways in the communities across uh, the regions that you work. And would really encourage you all to visit your local United Ways website to learn more about their work, to get involved um, uh, in addition to uh, the financial contribution. Uh, but here in King County, the um, things that we're really, really focused on are making sure that everyone has access to resources, access to a quality education, food to eat, and safe homes to live in. Uh, we know that homelessness is an incredible, incredible challenge um, in our city and um, across um, all of the states, actually. And so um, really grateful for the amazing work of our internal team at United Way working on um, this and other issues. And the one, the more than 130 nonprofit organizations that we invest in across King County doing this work. So just again, um, want to say thank you. So appreciate everything that you all are doing. Appreciate you joining us today and I'm excited to continue to partner. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Regina. Thank you uh, for your leadership as well. You know, when we talk about the impact that United Way has, and Brent touched on it a minute ago as we were talking about how this money goes out into your communities, we figured, well, let's show you an example. Let's show you exactly how this works. And we all know that food insecurity, sadly, is a huge problem in many of our communities. So let's take a look at a video from the Mid Willamette Valley in Oregon at a food bank there and how the help of United Way is really getting some things done. The mission of the Good360 program is twofold. One, we have the environmental impact by reducing waste for these products that otherwise may have been discarded. And two, we are building community capacity by improving lives for these agencies and individuals that may not otherwise have received these kinds of goods. My name is Coleman Crocker. I run the Good360 Gifts and Kind program for the United Way of the Mid Willamette Valley. What we do at Good360 is we work with major retailers to source product donations that we then get to redistribute to our community partners. Those come in the forms of public schools, faith-based organizations, and 501c3 nonprofits. We are bringing in uh, tens of thousands of dollars of product really every week in the form of everything from arts and crafts to pet supplies, kitchenware, home goods, you name it. Uh, it all comes to us randomly, so we rely very heavily on our volunteer network to help us open and sort through all of these goods, make them accessible to our groups, and then we average about 20, 25 nonprofits in per day, collecting any number of things. My name is Jessica Solis and I am the Community School Outreach Coordinator for Roberts Middle School, Roberts High School, and Downtown Learning Center. Good360 has been an amazing partner this school year. We use a lot of the things we get here as incentives for our students and families, for behaviors, for attendance. For every dollar donated to our local Good360 program, we can turn that into $50 worth of retail products that can support the community. The Good360 program is always looking for sponsorships and opportunities to continue growing our program. We know that we can serve a much wider area of Oregon with your support. Well, there you see it. And I think that video is a great example of many other videos that we actually could have picked from. It really shows what's going on in the communities. It's so critical. And those of you that are out in your community volunteering and donating, you know how critical that work is. And you know that that good work gets done because of your commitment and the commitment of your colleagues. So we are making a difference. Oftentimes we might not see it, but when we work with the United Way and we get in there and dig in and volunteer and uh, get out there and produce these videos, you really do get to see the difference that we make. Um, I especially like the shine, excuse me, the spotlight on that because I think it makes all of us feel sad that anybody would go to bed hungry in this country. Uh, that, that just bothers you to your core and how much food insecurity uh, that there actually is. And with that, I want to bring up Sarah Seelmeyer, who is the Associate Director of Ending Hunger at United Way. Again, I mean, these are just powerful titles. I don't know that I can actually even handle something like that. It's such a big task, but they, they're getting it done, as you saw in that video and you see in your communities. Sarah joined United Way of King County back in 2016, and she is United Way's Senior Manager of Food Security and Benefits Access. That's a lot to cover, okay? She leads local and statewide workforces to increase access to federal nutrition programs and the emergency food system. Sarah works closely with local, state, and national partners to break down the barriers. That's what's so critical to food security and support the food system. She's a proud AmeriCorps alum and passionate about education, justice, food justice, and ending childhood poverty. Wow, what a slacker she is. I don't know how she gets this all done. Sarah will speak now about the food security work. It's something that most communities are facing across the Wafed footprint. Sarah, we're so glad that you're here. Please come on up. Thank you so much, Brad, and thank you all for your deep partnership with United Way. We can't do our work without partnerships like this, and we are so glad to be working alongside WAFED to address many of our community's toughest challenges. One way that United Way helps build stability for families is by preventing hunger. Food insecurity affects communities across the country, and many United Ways, including likely your local United Way, are working to address this need. As you may know, the pandemic deepened inequities that already existed in our community. 
Hunger existed before COVID-19, but low-wage earners who lost income or savings during the pandemic are still struggling to recover financially. Across the United States, about one in eight children will experience food insecurity this year. And when I think about that number, my heart just sinks. When I do this work, I think a lot about my own family. When I was growing up, both of my parents worked, but then my mom got sick and my dad needed to take time off to care for her and care for me, his young child. As a child, I watched as my dad looked at our bills each month and tried to decide what needed to be paid that month and what could be delayed until the next month. It wasn't until I was an adult that I realized how terrifying that must have been for my dad to have a sick spouse and a young child and to not always know how he would put food on the table. At United Way of King County, we believe that families shouldn't ever have to choose between paying the rent, keeping the lights on, and putting food on the table. One way that we support families in our community is through our home grocery delivery program, which serves over 5,000 households in King County in partnership with DoorDash and over 30 local food banks. The program supports families who can't access their local food bank in person. Maybe their job schedule conflicts with the food bank's operating hours, or maybe they have a disability that prevents them from getting that in-person access. The program is really focused on eliminating barriers and making food support easy and dignified. Families sign up for the program online or by phone, and we match them to their local food bank. We work with that food bank to prepare food that meets the family's cultural and dietary needs, and then we partner with DoorDash to provide delivery of that food through a no-contact delivery, just like when someone orders DoorDash from a restaurant. We partner with food banks across the Puget Sound, meaning that someone can receive support no matter what zip code they live in. What I love about this program is that it's fundamentally changing the emergency food system by demonstrating that there's a more dignified way to connect families to the support they need. Nobody should have to wait in line for hours at a food bank to get the food that they need, particularly here in Seattle that's often in the rain. And this program shows that a different reality is possible. You know, life happens and there are times when any of us might need some extra support. I'm really proud that United Way is building a stronger and more resilient community for people who need support today, but also for all of us so that our entire community is thriving. Again, we so much appreciate your support of the work that United Way is doing across the community and across the country. Whether you donate your time, your talents, or contribute financially, your partnership truly makes our work possible. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah, very, very much for not only sharing your personal story, but outlining the details of how this plan really is executed. I think that's important for all of us to know. And thank you for giving us hope that together we can solve this, you know, this is a very, very serious issue. So um, you guys get it. You understand it. We do this every year. Uh, it's such an important part of who we are at Wafed Bank. Um, so right now I'd like to turn it over to um, the Wafed Bank co-chairs again. Well, you heard from Tina off the top, and now we're going to hear from Pete Thompson uh, down there in Dallas. And he's going to share a little bit more about some of the goals of the campaign, some of the incentives, some of the fun that we're going to have raising money, right, as we continue this this great program. Brad, breaking news. Yeah, yeah I'm I, on it. Oh, I, no, breaking news. Br breaking news, just in Pete Thompson, before we cut live to you down in beautiful Dallas, Texas, uh, we just had an emergency vote of the Academy. And listening to Sarah, Sarah's speech, thank you very much, because life does happen. And uh, if we as a company, if we can contribute and beat what we contributed last year, the match will go from 100% to 125% of the company. All right. So, there, there's real time for you, but let's all think about it and let's beat last year's employee contributions and it's not one dollar for every dollar it's a dollar 25 and kelly holtz right now is going brent i have a 10k to get up we'll figure it out Pete, to you awesome all right take it away Pete. awesome Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Wafed Bank. I, I don't know how you uh, you beat that going from 100% to 125. Uh, it, it's always a uh, Brent Beardall uh, presser if he throws a curveball at you. So enjoy that. Um, you know, we know our fearless leader uh, is, is humble, and I, I just wanted to to side note this real quick. Brent was 
down here in Dallas, Texas last night uh, for a client event on a plane at six o'clock this morning to make it to Seattle for this United Way kickoff. So uh, kudos to our fearless leader for for all of his efforts and everything he does, including uh, his uh, racking up miles uh, on his favorite airline. Well, I wanted to, to say thank you to our United Way co-chair, Tina DeCamp, our MC Brad Good, CEO Brent Beardall, and all of our fabulous United Way presenters, and all of the United Way champions for this year's event. We appreciate the time allocated from these individuals during a busy time of year. Uh, it, it is certainly not taken lightly. Um, uncertainty during these economic times drives the need for the United Way and their community partners. We've heard from the United Way presenters about the key initiatives of the United Way to promote education, fight hunger, provide shelter to those in need. Together with the United Way, our dollars can go further in our community. Now, as Brent outlined, even more WAFED dollars to our communities. I wanted to take a minute to, uh, to walk through our campaign goals for the 2023-24 for the year. We have an overall campaign goal of $365,000 to be raised in donations. We have brought back the participation goal of 80% throughout the bank. We want to make sure that all of our markets benefit from the matching within our local communities. Our leadership donation goals are targeting 55 donors to meet that executive producer level, and that's commitments of $1,000 or more and targeting 10, or excuse me, 100 donors at the shining star level, that's 500 to $1,000. So in order to reach those goals, we've created some promotion and prizes. Jeans day, earn up to four days to wear jeans if you make a minimum $24 donation or $1 per payroll via payroll deduction. You can earn additional days for increased contributions of $50 and $100 and one day for signing up for the donation via payroll deduction. Stay at home well raffle. 10 of our colleagues that make a qualified contribution will have the opportunity to stay at home well, and that's via raffle uh, with, with no restrictions on or limitations, how many are picked out of a market. It's completely random. For the executive producer and shining star donors, they will receive recognition and our star awards. This year, we'll bring back our creative campaign, and this will be an opportunity for our uh, talented and creative employees to show off their creative side. And this can be for, in the form of song, art, humor, poetry, interpretive dance like uh, Napoleon Dynam Dynamite. <laughs> one winner will be picked by the employee vote and one winner will be picked by EMC. Winners will receive tickets to event at Climate Change Arena or have the opportunity to spend $300 in the WAFED vault. We're also bringing back our pizza party. This is always where the competitive part in, in all of our retail and uh, corporate divisions comes out. As always, the goal is the first to 80% participation. If there is an event of a tie, then the highest participation will win the, the pizza party. As my co-chair says, this is what we call day one and done. And this is where the competitive side comes out in all of us. The pledging kicks off tomorrow, bright and early. And the campaign runs through the 18th. Please reach out to your champions with any questions that you may have on the campaign or how to make directed donations and how to improve the incentives to your communities. Now we've seen the lights, the cameras, now it's your turn to take action. We look forward to seeing the results and passing out more awards to our generous employees. Thank you all for your commitments to your communities and for your generosity. Enjoy the rest of your day.
Take care.